Hey, you. Yeah, you. Hey, come a little bit closer. Come on. I don't want to have to yell. I showered today. I don't bite. It'll be fine. Thanks. All right. So here's the deal. Before we kick things off, I got to tell you something. I'm embarrassed. I'm not hardcore anymore. Yeah, it's, it's unfortunate. We were getting to the point where, you know, we can do some more exciting stuff. And I was really looking forward to dying in a way that we could all laugh about. Or at least you could roast me in the comments about. But I was walking my dog, doing a cow fight slayer task on mobile, and she gets spooked by ATVs. So we had a little incident. By the time I looked down at my phone, I realized that I must have fat fingered the mini map or something. I ended up fighting a cow fight soldier instead of a worker. And I did use my ecto file and get out of there, but I think the poison got me. So that's a total bummer. And yeah, I just wanted to get that out of the way. We do change our name at some point in the video and you will see that little red helmet icon leave earlier than I would have liked it to. But hey, it's a process and we made a ton of progress. So with that said, I hope you enjoy the episode and I'll see you at the end. I'm not sure how many of these will include, but we are in full swing with birdhouses. Currently working on the oak ones, and that's 22 hunter. 59 attack at the place where it all began. Lesser demon slayer task, and that is 57 hit points. Sheldar is not being kind to me. Infernal mages suck. I'm not looking forward to this. Yep, and as anticipated, this is taking absolutely forever and very little reward out of it. So infernal mages, don't recommend doing these. Taking a little break from Slayer, but still wanted to do combat. Messing about and ended up at Chaos Druid Warriors, grabbing 60 strength and some herbs. I wanted to test my luck at the Brine Rats, see if we could come away with a Brine Saber, 46 ranged. We're gonna try and get that up to match our melee stats soon, and I figured this would be a decent place to do that. We're not just focusing on birdhouses, we're doing farm runs as well, and that's 38 farming. 35 Hunter, and I don't know if I mentioned this yet, but we are doing Teak Birdhouses now. Just so nobody yells at me, I am gathering seaweed as well, so not completely wasting my time. I know I'm not all about efficiency, but I, I am doing that part too. I'm having kind of a tough day, so if you could not start this shit this early, I would greatly appreciate it. Since we're not hardcore anymore, I figured let's go into the wilderness without fear. Um, I'm at the crazy archaeologist hoping for a rune crossbow or, you know, a shard or something, anything. And here's the first one. Nothing. Sweet. Nothing. Nothing. That's something. That's 36 hunter. 39 farming. Another herb run in the books. I had to mentally prepare myself to come back to infernal mages, but after messing around for a bit, we are back. That's 54 ranged. 37 Hunter. I'm coming back here as often as I can right now just to get these early levels out of the way. So woodcut is high enough to continue getting us logs, but I want to make sure crafting stays high enough to keep up with the birdhouses. That stuff seems to be going pretty fast, so we're going to try and keep the ball rolling there. Another crafting level coming in hot, and this will be 50 crafting someday. There it is, 50 crafting, and now we can make mahogany birdhouses. So we're going to look to make that switch as soon as we have the appropriate hunter level. Not going to make that mistake again. Speaking of hunter level, there's 38 hunter. Unlocking nothing. How exciting. Back to cow fights again. We finally got through infernal mages. This time we're racking up 48 slayer. Doing my best to not think about the past, but we're coming in on 56 defense. Stocking up on some teak logs because I'm an iron man, by the way. Early into a sulfur lizard task, I'm going to say that I actually don't mind these. I'm getting some ore from it and decent XP, so no complaints from me. Fire giants again, this time 50 slayer, and you won't hear me complain about this task either. Decent XP, and I actually like coming here. 60 hit points. Sometimes I just fucking zone out, and I almost didn't notice this rune scimitar laying on the ground. Man, I feel really freaking stupid. I guess I'll go pick that up now. That's 57 ranged, and I apologize if I skipped a few levels there. I've been doing some Slayer on mobile. You know, that's just the reality of working a job and trying to do this on the same time. So um, apologies there if that seems abrupt, but 57 ranged. 41 Hunter, making some serious progress just from birdhouses. Love to see it. 
Here we are cracking into another farming level and that's level 40. Seems like a waste that that does nothing for us. I don't know. With the even numbers like that, I always expect there to be something, but that was anticlimactic. Back to the fire giants, we're closing in on 59 ranged. I wanna get up to 61 to use the rune crossbow. There it is, 59 ranged. And once we do that, we'll go back to crazy archeologist. We are stockpiling some slayer points, so we'll look to unlock broader fletching once we can. 42 hunter, that's cool, right? There's good tasks from Sheldar, and then there's this shit. I know what these are, and they're not hard, but we gotta use the frickin' salt on them, and just a pain in the ass. I'm more excited for the dentist than I am for rock slugs, but we are closing in on a defense level. That's level 58. We're chipping away towards level 60. 51 Slayer, and that does nothing. Back to Fire Giants, and this is just like fucking Groundhog Day. 43 Hunter. Yeah, we are still doing birdhouses. <laughs> this fucking guy asking me if I'm hunting a rune simi. What kind of amateur does he think we are? That's hilarious. Wow. That's 60 ranged, and with that, we can now use the red dragon hide piece we got earlier from Crazy Archaeologist. So, I mean, that's not nothing. Alk and stuff. Alk and stuff. If you don't alk stuff, then you can't buy stuff. Fun fact about me I've never been to the Rev Cave, so I wanted to come here and die a little bit. In the process, we managed to pick up a couple rune plate bodies, so that's, that's something. 44 Hunter. If this makes it into the video, then. Hi, how are you? Hope you're having an excellent day. Still messing around at the Rev Caves and nice, we actually get some rune plate legs. I haven't managed to die yet, so I haven't quite got the full experience yet. And we actually got a drop. Holy shit, is that is that good? Bracelet of Ethereum? I've heard that term, but I don't know what that is or what it does. A couple dragon long swords and I, I'm speechless. Is this lucky? I feel like this must be lucky. Couple PKers coming through. I thought I was gonna die for a second, but they they certainly can't attack me. And I don't I don't think they'd waste their time on me. 45 Hunter. Boom, 61 ranged. And this changes. Absolutely nothing. I mean, we don't even have the rune crossbow yet. Saw Rag and Bone Man 2 was up on the quest queue, so I said screw that and got a construction level instead. Grabbing some mahogany logs in anticipation of the birdhouses that we will inevitably make. 46 Hunter. We've come a long way. Cold War complete. No, I'm not putting off Rag and Bone Man. I wanted to do Ascent of Arceus, absolutely. Farming level 45 and, you know, we're making some decent progress overall. Fruit trees are ready again, and that's 46 farming. I don't care if you're tired of hearing of it. I'm doing Hunter, and I'm level 47. Eagle's Peak, what a fucking silly quest, man. Holy shit, that disguise had me dying. The guy's like, ah, oh, no, don't eat me, man. I'm doing Underground Pass, and I'm almost dead, but I think I know the path. Look at this shit, man. Has this happened to anyone else? Oh my god, it's gonna work, too. That is crazy. Oh, holy shit, I forgot about this part. Oh my god, get over there. Oh no, back to start, come on. That would have been way funnier as a hardcore Iron Man, but anyway, underground pass complete. I forgot we actually got awards for that too, so that's 65 agility, not bad. Hunter level 48, we've done it again. There's only one thing in this game that I hate more than walking, and it's fucking polishing all those bones. Oh my goodness. 45 prayer and an aneurysm. I heard Tarn Razlor had a lair and I just, I, I couldn't stand for that man. I had to come in here and kill him. Well, I now know what a fever spider is. The more you know. Rum deal, that was an easy quest. Kind of inconvenient, but we did get 46 prayer, 47 farming, and we can grow watermelons. This is quite the variety episode, 52 mining. You thought we were mining for fun? Hell no, that's 50 smithing. We've become a pirate and completed the Cabin Fever quest that does give us some decent XP and 51 crafting. We can now make snakeskin chaps, which is huge if we ever want to look like a total fucking idiot. Another quest down, that's Hand in the Sand complete, so now we can get daily buckets of sand from Bert. And we also get 52 crafting, which lets us make something I've never heard of. Maybe that's good. You thought we were done? 49 Hunter. Back to quests and Raka's Lament complete, and that gives us 53 mining. Shout out to Wizard Folly for trying to help me with Hero's Quest and 
Every time we try and do this, it's, it's just going horribly wrong. Look at this asshole stuck behind the door. Oh my God, yeah, he definitely got stuck, man. Let's see if we can get it this time. All right, so I'll do this over again. Go through the dialogue and... Okay, he's coming in. Let's see what happens. Shoot him. Bro, you cannot make this shit up. This fucking guard is in his way. Like I'm 90% sure that the guard is in his way. So now I'm gonna have to kill this fucker with a pickaxe and hope that this changes something. This is unbelievable. I swear to God, if this doesn't work, then the series is over. I'm quitting RuneScape, I'm never coming back. Hero's Quest is gonna be the death of me. Here it is, the moment of truth and... Of all of them, how does that hit him? You've gotta be kidding me. I will never cease to amaze myself. I have forgotten my melee weapon and so now I have to kill the Ice Queen with a frickin' pickaxe. So, that's that's how my Hero's Quest experience is going, and hopefully this does it because we're we're running out of lobsters, and I I, I don't want to do this again. There we go. She's down. Get the ice gloves and get the fuck out of here. An absolutely abysmal performance by us, but all that matters is that the quest is done. We got some levels: 62 hit points, 44 herb lore, 51 smithing. This hurts, but we gotta give up some money to upgrade that Ivan staff, and there we go. Ivan Staff you. That thing's gonna do some serious work for us. Could I just have one freaking moment to myself? Got a lamp from a genie. Gonna put that into prayer. Man, this is so much faster with the Ivan Staff. Oh my goodness. Let's see that. Yeah, that's twice as fast. Didn't help our drop chances though, as we still got nothing. Another big fat pile of nothing. Another kill and some white berries. We'll call that nothing. Down he goes again, and nothing. Oh man, with that pop-up, I thought we got a drop. Well, Onyx Bolts though, I think I can Alk those, so that's that's not nothing. That is nothing. Yes, a rusty sword. Another kill, another batch of nothing. Nothing, what else is new? Oh, nice, absolutely nothing. A rusty sword, you'll love to see it. Oh, the potatoes, and a rusty sword. Super cool. You know, outside of the red dehyde, this might actually be the first useful drop. Man, back-to-back -back prayer potions. That's that's incredible. RNG was like, oh, you want to bitch about that? Well, here's a fat wad of nothing. Damn, the pop-up got me again. Cannonballs. Well, that's at least new. Okay, Onyx bolt tips again. That could be worse. These better be the best white berries that have ever been dropped. Let me guess. Yep, nothing. Well, fuck. Oh, yeah, he got me. Well done. Well, I got shit on at the Rev Cave, so I came back here for obvious reasons, and yeah, I'm sure I'm sure I'll be here a while, but this is really the type of wilderness content that I have any business doing out here. You know, between this and Clue Scrolls, I think that's probably about it for us. I've never really been a PKer, and in RuneScape 3, the wilderness literally isn't PvP anymore. Oh my god, nice. Double rune crossbow drop. I was actually prepared for that to be a much longer grind. 50 Hunter, welcome to my birdhouse locked Iron Man. All right, we're back at the Fire Giant's task and that was 60 defense. So we can wear dragon equipment now if we ever get lucky enough to get it as a drop. And we're kind of closing the gap towards 70. Um, once we get to 70 attack, 70 defense, I think we will start the Barrows grind. So we're gonna use Konar for Slayer now and looks like our first task is Jellies. I've never been to the catacombs, so looking forward to that. Catacombs seem cool. That's 53 Slayer, and this place reminds me of Curadel's dungeon uh, in RuneScape 3, for those of you who were uh, still around for that. Why was 6 afraid of 2? Because these things hit fucking hard. 55 mining, and that means we can mine Mithril. That's pretty cool. Seems like every time I walk through Draenor these days, I find one of these fucking things. 48 thieving. Getting pretty smooth with the old pickpocket. I just can't stop doing birdhouses. That's level 51 hunter. Decided to do the easy Karendin Kebos diary, and that's level 47 prayer. Yeah, I'm in the mood to do some achievement diaries, but after this Varrock one, I, I may not be anymore. I hate this balloon thing. Shout out to Slayer Music for the guide. That's the Varrock medium done and some prayer XP. So 48 prayer. I've never played Trouble Brewing, so I have absolutely no idea what's going on. I don't know where any of my teammates are, I don't understand the scoring, and hopefully 
we don't have to do this again. So I've asked my team and this is ridiculous. This is apparently all that is required of me. I just have to dump water into the vat. I, I don't know, I guess I'm helping. I at least understand birdhouses, 52 hunter. That's level 50 farming and we can now grow Avento. I knew there had to be something. Kind of jumping around again, but that's level 45 herb lore and we can now make super attack potions. Back to jellies, we get 63 strength. 54 slayer and that's one away from 55, which lets us use broad bolts. I'm going to pretend that I knew that was a requirement the whole time and didn't purchase a bunch of them preemptively. Got a hard clue scroll and it brings us to the wilderness. I feel pretty comfortable going out there, you know, now that I'm a pro wilderness guy. Nothing bad has ever happened to me out there, that's for sure. So we were almost there, we got fucking ambushed, and I'm basically done for here. How many times do you think the master farmer is gonna let me come near him before he's like, oh no man, I know what you're fucking up to. 53 Hunter, and if this makes it into the video, hope you're having a good day. Coming at you underwater with 52 farming. That does nothing. 50 thieving, cause I mean, might as well get 50 thieving, you know, that's just, I freaking hate thieving, man, but that's level 51. We're doing this for seeds, obviously, but we also need 51 to do desert treasure, I believe. 64 strength, and I was surprised to get an ice warriors task from Konar, but here we are. Blue dragons, that's actually decent. Um, the dragon bones will be nice for prayer, and I can probably train ranged while I do that. Birdhouses and farming have kind of like been my full-time job, but that's 53 farming. At this point, I, I doubt that I'll even put this in the video. This is just so many hunter levels. 54 hunter. I was doing this for the energy pots, but I will not complain about 46 herblore. Getting up there. Pretty pumped since we're approaching broad bolts and rune crossbow combo, so I'm gonna go ahead and grab the Ava's accumulator. Um, any ranged bonus we can add to the setup is gonna be pretty nice. There it is, 55 Slayer, and this changes, well, at least one thing. I mean, we can, you know, use broad bolts now, but, oh shit, actually that is, that's nice. We can use leaf bladed weapons, the Slayer staff, and kill Turoths. Haven't made it to the bank yet, but that is 62 ranged. Another birdhouse run, another level. That's 55 Hunter. That's 56 Slayer, and yeah, we moved on from Blue Dragons. Nothing else eventful happened, so I'm skipping right to this. Jellies are done, we're on to Hellhounds. Back in the catacombs, picking up 65 strength. Had a genius idea because I've had weapon poison sitting in my bank for quite some time. It's only regular weapon poison, but I figure it's worth slapping on this dragon dagger. We can bring it along on Slayer tasks and, you know, maybe speed some things up a little bit. No, I didn't accidentally put it in the bank, get all the way to the catacombs, then have to turn around, go in the castle, and grab it again. But I did get 61 attack. And that first part's true, too. Yeah, you got me. Birdhouse run again, this time 53 crafting. We can make a snakeskin body, but we probably won't. This time it's Hunter again, but it's level 56, which unlocks nothing. Another attack level at Hellhounds, we are up to level 62, so... Creeping towards that goal of 70. We're getting there. Hellhound task and we reach level 57 Slayer. It does nothing for us, but I mean, five and seven times each other is 35. I freaking hate that I have to do a Wish Virgin Sudoku puzzle to buy runes from this guy, but we're gonna, I mean, I guess we're gonna do it. 55 farming. That's it, sorry. Back to fire giants because that's just, the Slayer task we get all the time. Got 64 ranged out of that deal. Gonna unlock broader fletching because that just seems like a necessary path to progression. So here we go, broader fletching unlocked. Kind of breaks my heart to keep coming back here, but that's 63 attack at the Calphites. Holy shit, a myth grapple. Nice, man. So we are uh, trying to catch up with our achievement diaries and Instead of getting to, I believe it's level 58 smithing, I came into the ancient cavern, did all the barbarian training, all that stuff, just to kill these fucking spirits for a myth grapple. So it feels good to get that. I did a bunch of easy and medium achievement diaries, just in the areas that I hadn't even touched, so I've got five lamps to use. I'm gonna include this just for those of you who have been razzing me about herb lore. There's 47 herb lore. Um, we can make super attack potions now, so that's our super attack mixes. I'm sorry. 
Let's keep going and see what we end up getting up to. There's 48 and it does 49 Herblore. We are running through the Waterbirth Island dungeon for the Fremenic Medium Diary. So this should be, this should be a decent adventure. Coming out on the other side and that actually really wasn't that bad. I got a little bit lucky, I'll be honest. I missed some, I missed some prayers and I didn't, didn't end up paying for it. So feels good. Fremenic Medium Diary is complete. We're going to slap this into Herblore for the homies in the comment section. And that's level 50 Herblore. Can make fishing potions. Lumbridge Medium done as well. There's our Explorer's Ring too. That's actually pretty nice. We're going to put that into Herblore as well. Level 51. Doing the Western Province Diaries and I have not played Pest Control in so long. This is, this is hilarious. I got to be honest, I don't, I don't have it in me to keep hunting these freaking chompy birds. I looked at the Western Province Diaries and like the hard and elite ones, I I applaud those of you who can sit here and do this. I, If there's an easier way to get this done or if there's a fast way to get this done, somebody somebody let me know. Acquired a clue and I've just been alking some maple short bows that I fletched and we actually hit level 65 magic on the way to this clue step. Oh man, I, I hate that I don't have a rune heraldic shield. I can't do this. I have to drop this clue. That's a total bummer. Went back to the rev caves because I'm just an idiot like that. And we ended up with another bracelet of Ethereum. So another alkable, I think. Let me know if I'm supposed to keep these. I haven't looked it up. I probably should. I think I could just run back to Ferox. Oh God. Oh yeah. Probably should have teleported, but you live and you learn. Decided to try my luck at the Hobgoblins since we've got a room. Bro, who is... All right. Oh. Nice. Wow, what a nice guy. <laughs> Dude, the wilderness is wild. I mean, this is the episode where I'm looking to unlock some stuff. I know I haven't unlocked anything yet, but here we are in this cesspool known as Barbarian Assault. And the last time I got a torso, I was in high school. So it's amazing to me that people play this mini game, but I guess it makes sense. You know, you need the torso. If any of you have played RuneScape 3, you know that every single minigame is dead. So I'm doing the absolute best I can, but this this guy on my team is just absolutely screaming at me. I don't know much about Barbarian Assault. I haven't done it in a long time, like I said. So I maybe I'm doing this wrong, but it's telling me to use... I'm, I'm attacking right now, right? It's telling me to use defensive, and I'm using defensive. A few waves later, and here's an update. He can't do it anymore. He's, he's done. He's just... He's had enough of us. We all suck. We're not good enough for him. We did try, possibly. We did. Yeah, thanks, man. Appreciate your help so far. I mean, you've been a total fucking asshole, but... So I made it through my first kill, and I'm like, man, I wish that guy from earlier could see me now. I mean, right? We completed the full assault, and it's at this point I realized he was on the team the whole time. There he is, dude. Yeah, thanking everybody but me. You carried hard. Yeah, go fuck yourself, buddy. That guy's such a dick. Had to break up the Barbarian Assault grind, I mean, for obvious reasons. Not just that guy, but that game is... Jeez. Oh, man. That's tough. And that is level 67 ranged. We're at the Cave Horrors hoping for a Black Mask, but... We've been here for quite a while, if I'm honest, and no luck just yet. Couldn't stay away from birdhouses. That's level 58 Hunter. Cool. And there we are, level 52 Herblore. I'm just trying to take advantage of the supplies from the Cave Horrors as we get them. Don't want to let those stack up too much, and super attack potions are pretty useful. We've been able to grow quite a few Avento. I could have dipped out and bought my torso like four waves ago, but I'm not that guy. So here we are at the final time that I'll face the Penance Queen. Didn't want to leave the boys hanging, make them all restart. So let's go ahead and grab that torso, and there's the collection log pop up. That feels good, man. Honestly, I know it's in the grand scheme of things, not a, not a big deal. There it is fighter torso looks good that's gonna be handy for slayer straight back to farming because that's our life now and we can now grow white lilies i don't know what that is or how to do it but we can sure do it i feel like cave horrors are low-key underrated i mean take a peek at that inventory man uh, it's kind of frustrating that i've spent so much time here hoping for a black mask so i you know i totally get that frustration if if you're somebody who's dry here but I mean, look at the amount of insold heads. Look at the herbs. We're getting seeds. This this could be a lot worse of a place to 
you know, get stuck spending time at. Farming is such an easy, fast skill, man. That's level 59 already. Man, I've been here so long, I'm starting to practice my cinematic shots. Well, we're officially well over the drop rate for the Black Mask, but we're getting some decent range XP, uh, stacking up supplies. And like I said, I'm really not too upset about it. Um, we also got a clue scroll. Let's see if we can do this. There's no way, right? I'm not gonna do regicide just to do this clue step. Level 69 range, that's a very important level, or at least a funny one. I definitely did regicide just for that clue step. I sat and thought about it, but yeah, I think it's worth it. We also have to do it at some point anyway, so we don't get an agility level from that, but that's okay. Uh, we're now able to do that clue step and we're gonna hope for, for something useful. I don't know what I'm really hoping for, but we did regicide for this and I mean, we got some alkables that that could be a lot worse. Back to cave horrors, because that's just a part of our identity at this point. I mean, it's basically now farming, birdhouses, cave horrors. Oh, and clue steps too. Nice. Another hard clue. Couldn't finish the last one, but here we are on the very next trip and we get another. Let's see if we can finish this one. So we need an amulet of glory again for this one. And yeah, rip to us. That sucks. Sucks to be us. Are you not entertained? 60, farming. We can now plant yew trees. I feel like I've been here forever. I mean, that's 70 ranged. So I still feel pretty good um, treating this like a process. You know, we can now equip black dragon hide. We're getting some good herbs out of this, getting some seeds, nature runes, chance at a black mask. Man, another clue. This is, you know, just another reason to appreciate cave horrors. Um, it is in the wilderness, but we're not hardcore anymore. We really don't have an excuse to not do this. Let's go ahead and try. All right, so we did get the casket this time, and let's see what's in this bad Larry. Okay, an armadillo dehyde shield. That's probably pretty good. I don't know much about that, but also a couple magic short bows. That's, that's great. Uh, we wouldn't have been able to fletch that for quite some time. Some sharks and purple sweets. So definitely one of the stronger caskets we've opened on this account so far. Pretty pumped. I skipped all the filler and I'm just gonna go ahead and preemptively open this compost bin. So when we open this casket and it's shit, we can throw. Okay. Now we're talking, that's actually great. We got black dehyde body and chaps as well as a magic short bow. I really cannot complain. That's, that's fantastic. Still on the farming grind, that's level 61, and we can now grow snape grass. That is pretty useful as I love some prayer potions. I've been in love with energy pots recently, and I just found out that I can make super energy pots. I really probably should have paid attention to that sooner. We're killing these guys here, trying to gather some Mortmire fungi for the potions. That's the necessary secondary, so that's, that's uh, why we're here. Yeah, 59 Hunter, and we can now make birdhouses of the U variety. I've been at Cave Horrors for so long, I'm honestly afraid that I'm going to become one. I feel like the bar has been set so high, I'm just going to be disappointed by clues now. But we are going to go ahead and do all the clues that we get on this grind. That's 68 hit points, and combat is getting there, man. All right, opening up that casket as we were able to finish another. We got a purple firelighter and some fashion skate. Looks like a red boater. Not bad. So from killing jellies earlier in the catacombs, uh, I realized that they drop rune full helms. And according to the wiki, the weaker variants also drop them. I alked all the ones that I've acquired so far, um, but it turns out we actually need a rune full helm for another clue step. So that's good to know. And that's 65 attack. Also, this dehyde looks great with that shield. I'm, I'm super pumped about this new setup. Ranged is definitely our strongest combat style. Still playing Farmville on the side. That's level 62 farming and we can grow snapdragons. So I definitely want to get a rune full helm since it's really not that hard to acquire. Um, but we're not on slayer tasks, so it seemed like a waste to be killing jellies. After some research, it turns out that the giants in the basement, the ones that drop the dragon defender, also drop a rune full helm. So I'm kind of hoping for a little two for one scenario here. Um, since we can use the Dragon Defender and we were going to do this at some point anyway, I think this is a good place to spend some time. So I'm going to go ahead and farm some tokens 
and then we'll meet upstairs and start that defender grind. So there's 600 of them, which I'm sure won't be enough because fuck me, am I right? 100 tokens in and we yoink our first defender. That's the bronze one. And with a little help from RNG, we hopefully will be able to get this done in one go. Totally fucked myself over and forgot I had to talk to this lady in between and, you know, show her the past defender. No iron defender yet, but we do pick up 66 strength. There it is, iron defender, and we definitely have to get more tokens. I really, I cannot blame that on RNG. I totally botched that. Got another 600 tokens roughly, and we pick up the steel defender. Got the Black Defender. There it is, Mithril Defender. If you would have told me even a month ago that I would be wearing a fighter torso, rune plate legs, helm of nade is not, strength amulet, and a dragon scimitar doing the defender grind, I would have, I would have just lost my shit. 67 strength coming in hot. And this has been a pretty nice grind, honestly. I really want that defender and, you know, we're training melee, so. Adamant Defender. We're probably gonna have to farm tokens at least one more time unless we get very, very lucky. And I, I'm i just not looking forward to that. There it is, Rune Defender. We are now done with the upstairs. Wildly unfortunate that we have virtually zero tokens left. We will have to go get more. Let's go ahead and do that. We are looking to get into some big boy birdhouses. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut these rubies and that should give us, yep, there it is, 60 crafting. From now on, we'll be making birdhouses of the U variety. That's 55 thieving, and we're trying to pile up some seeds. I'm back at it. I got to get this done. That's strength level 68, and no dragon defender yet, but we've got more than enough tokens to work with, I believe. There's that rune full helm I needed. That feels good. Another strength level, this time level... Oh, grow up. I would get a fucking dragon med before I get the dragon defender. That, that's absurd. I think what makes it worse is, I'm pretty sure the Helm of Nate is not as better. So, it's really just an alkable. That's, that's so unfortunate. I had to get more tokens because my life's just one big fucking joke. Sharing a moment with this guy, you know, fellow scaper. I, I love this part of the game, man. No, my RNG's worse. No, mine's worse. Holy shit, that feels good to get. That's fantastic. Apparently I'm talking to nobody. I don't know where my buddy went. Well, we got our rune full helm, we got our dragon defender, and we got some strength levels along the way. Time to alk all this shit and see what we get. 160k. That's actually not too bad. 60 hunter. Man. That's kind of a milestone, right? It's at least an even number. I like it. Back at Cave Horrors, and I mean, we'll probably stay here and only leave for birdhouses and farm runs. At least until we get that black mask. Range is kind of getting out of control, so I've switched to meleeing them. That's 66 attack. I want to get attack, strength, defense up to base 70s. Then we'll, you know, work on some barrows. Really nice to know that that grind is within reach. I'm not too upset. I can't stress enough about how the cave horrors are a decent place to be stuck at. You know, even if I go really dry here, the XP is pretty good. The drops are nice. I'm, I'm going to want to get prayer up anyway, so these ensouled heads are great. I'm getting decent level seeds, some herbs, and the clue scrolls have been great in terms of advancing the account. So I'm going to shut up now, but I, I, I really, I really can't complain about this. So that's it for today's story. Oh no, please don't go. Mom, stop embarrassing me in front of my friends. Uh, sorry about that interruption there. Uh, we are creeping up to 1500 total level. I mean, not really still a ways to go, but some excellent progress in the works. You know, melee is approaching base 70s. We did hit 70 ranged and magic's up to 65. So I feel pretty good about that part. In terms of quests, I mean, we're just going to keep chipping away, you know, little at a time. That's how I've got to do it. In regards to the black mask, I really wanted to sneak that into this episode, but we are we are struggling to get that drop. It does exist and I will get it one of these days, one of these days. So that's it for me, and if you made it this far, then I'll be fucking s surprised, to be honest. Uh, let me know. Put Mama's Boy in the comments if you listen to this whole ramble at the end. Good for you. I mean, you probably have something better to do. Go on, get the hell out of here. Go outside or something. 